Vaisheshika or Vaisesika Sanskrit, Vaisesika is one of the six orthodox schools of Hindu philosophy Vedic systems from ancient India. In its early stages, the Vaisesika was an independent philosophy with its own metaphysics, epistemology, logic, ethics, and soteriology. Over time, the Vaisesika system became similar in its philosophical procedures, ethical conclusions and soteriology to the Naya school of Hinduism, but retained its difference in epistemology and metaphysics. The epistemology of Vaisesika school of Hinduism, like Buddhism, accepted only two reliable means to knowledge, perception and inference. Vaisesika school and Buddhism both consider their respective scriptures as indisputable and valid means to knowledge, the difference being that the scriptures held to be a valid and reliable source by Vaisikas were the Vedas. Vaisheshika school is known for its insights in naturalism. It is a form of atomism in natural philosophy. It postulated that all objects in the physical universe are reducible to paramanu atoms, and one's experiences are derived from the interplay of substance a function of atoms, their number and their spatial arrangements, quality, activity, commonness, particularity and inherence. According to Vicesica school, knowledge and liberation were achievable by a complete understanding of the world of experience. Vicesica Darshana was founded by Kanata Kashyapa around the 6th to 2nd century BC. Topic. Overview Although the Vaisheshika system developed independently from the Naya school of Hinduism, the two became similar and are often studied together. In its classical form, however, the Vaisheshika school differed from the Naya in one crucial respect, where Naya accepted four sources of valid knowledge, the Vaisheshika accepted only two, the epistemology of Vaisheshika school of Hinduism accepted only two reliable means to knowledge, perception and inference. Vaisheshika espouses a form of atomism, that the reality is composed of five substances examples are earth, water, air, fire, and space. Each of these five are of two types, explains Ganeri, Paramanu and Composite. And Parmanu para means beyond and Anu means atom or very small but divisible particle while Parmanu is indivisible is that which is indestructible, indivisible, and has a special kind of dimension, called small Anu. A composite is that which is divisible into Parmanu. Whatever human beings perceive as composite, and even the smallest perceptible thing, namely, a fleck of dust, has parts, which are therefore invisible. The Vaisikas visualized the smallest composite thing as a triad trianuka with three parts, each part with a dyad dianuka. Vaisikas believed that a dyad has two parts, each of which is an atom. Size, form, truths and everything that human beings experience as a whole is a function of parmanus, their number and their spatial arrangements. Vaisheshika postulated that what one experiences is derived from dravya substance, a function of atoms, their number and their spatial arrangements, guna quality, karma activity, samanya commonness, vishesha particularity, and samavaya inherence, inseparable connectedness of everything. Topic: <inaudible> Epistemology. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hinduism identifies six pramanas as epistemically reliable means to accurate knowledge and to truths: pratyaksa (perception), anumana (inference), upamana (comparison and analogy), arthapati (postulation, derivation from circumstances), anupalabdhi (non-perception, negative, cognitive proof), and sabda (word, testimony of past or present reliable experts). Of these, Vaisesika epistemology considered only pratyaksa (perception) and anumana (inference) as reliable means of valid knowledge. Naya school, related to Vaisesika, accepts four out of these six. Pratyaksa – Pratyaksa means perception. It is of two types, external and internal. External perception is described as that arising from the interaction of five senses and worldly objects, while internal perception is described by this school as that of inner sense, the mind. The ancient and medieval texts of Hinduism identify four requirements for correct perception: Indriyarthasanikarsa, direct experience by one's sensory organs with the object, whatever is being studied; Avyapadesya, non-verbal, correct perception is not through hearsay. According to ancient Indian scholars, where one's sensory organ relies on accepting or rejecting someone else's perception, Avyabhakara does not wander; correct perception does not change, nor is it the result of deception because one's sensory organ or means of observation 
as drifting, defective, suspect and vyavasayatmaka definite, correct perception excludes judgments of doubt, either because of one's failure to observe all the details, or because one is mixing inference with observation and observing what one wants to observe, or not observing what one does not want to observe. Some ancient scholars proposed unusual perception as pramana and called it internal perception, a proposal contested by other Indian scholars. The internal perception concepts included pratibha intuition, samanyalakshana pratyaksa a form of induction from perceived specifics to a universal, and nyanalakshana pratyaksa a form of perception of prior processes and previous states of a topic of study by observing its current state. Further, the texts considered and refined rules of accepting uncertain knowledge from pratyaksa pranama, so as to contrast nirnaya definite judgment, conclusion from anadyavasaya indefinite judgment. Anamana Anamana means inference. It is described as reaching a new conclusion and truth from one or more observations and previous truths by applying reason. Observing smoke and inferring fire is an example of Anamana. In all except one Hindu philosophies, this is a valid and useful means to knowledge. The method of inference is explained by Indian texts as consisting of three parts, pratijna hypothesis, hichu a reason, and dirshtanta examples. The hypothesis must further be broken down into two parts, state the ancient Indian scholars, sadhya that idea which needs to proven or disproven and paksha the object on which the sadhya is predicated. The inference is conditionally true if sapaksha positive examples as evidence are present, and if vipaksha negative examples as counter evidence are absent. For rigor, the Indian philosophies also state further epistemic steps. For example, they demand vyapti, the requirement that the hichu reason must necessarily and separately account for the inference in all cases, in both sapaksha and vipaksha. A conditionally proven hypothesis is called a nigamana conclusion. Topic. Syllogism The syllogism of the Vaisesika school was similar to that of the Naya school of Hinduism, but the names given by Prasastapada to the five members of syllogism are different. Topic. Literature The earliest systematic exposition of the Vaisheshika is found in the Vaisesika Sutra of Kannada or Kanabaksha. This treatise is divided into ten books. The two commentaries on the Vaisesika Sutra, Ravanabhasya and Bharadvahavarti are no more extant. Prasastapada's Padarthadharmasamgraha is the next important work of this school. Though commonly known as Bhasya of Vaisesika Sutra, this treatise is basically an independent work on the subject. The next Vaisheshika treatise, Khandra's Dasapadarthasastra based on Prasastapada's treatise is available only in Chinese translation. The earliest commentary available on Prasastapada's treatise is Vyomasiva's Vyomavati 8th century. The other three commentaries are Sridhara's Nayakandali 991, Udayana's Kiranavali 10th century, and Srivasta's Lilavati 11th century. Sivaditya's Saptapadarthi, which also belongs to the same period, presents the Naya and the Vaisesika principles as a part of one whole. Samkara Misra's Apaskara on Vaisesika Sutra is also an important work. The categories are Padartha. According to the Vaisheshika school, all things that exist, that can be cognized and named are Padarthas literal meaning, the meaning of a word, the objects of experience. All objects of experience can be classified into six categories, dravya substance, guna quality, karma activity, samanya generality, vasesa particularity, and samavaya inherence. Later Vaisikas Sridhara and Adhyana and Sivaditya added one more category abhava non-existence. The first three categories are defined as artha which can perceived and they have real objective existence. The last three categories are defined as budhyapeksam product of intellectual discrimination and they are logical categories. Point one, dravya substance. The substances are conceived as nine in number. They are perth v earth ap water tejas fire vayu air akasa ether kala time dik space atman self or soul and manas mind the first 5 are called buddhas the substances having some specific qualities so that they could be perceived by one or the other external senses point 2 guna quality the vaisesika sutra mentions 17 gunas qualities to which prasastapada added another 7 
While a substance is capable of existing independently by itself, a guna quality cannot exist so. The original 17 gunas qualities are rupa color, rasa taste, ganda smell, sparsa touch, samkhya number, paramana size dimension quantity, prathaktva individuality, samyoga conjunction accompaniments, vibhaga disjunction, paritva priority, aparitva posteriority, buddhi knowledge, sukha pleasure, dukkha pain, isha desire, divesa aversion and prayatna effort. To these prasastapada added gurutva heaviness, dravatva fluidity, sneha viscosity, dharma merit, adharma demerit, sabda sound, and samskara faculty. Point three, karma activity. The karmas activities like gunas qualities have no separate existence; they belong to the substances. But while a quality is a permanent feature of a substance, an activity is a transient one. Akasa ether, kala time, dik space, and atman self. Though substances are devoid of karma activity. Point four, samanya generality. Since there are plurality of substances, there will be relations among them. When a property is found common to many substances, it is called samanya. Point five, vicesa particularity. By means of vicesa, we are able to perceive substances as different from one another. As the ultimate atoms are innumerable so are the visases. Point six, samavaya inherence. Kanada defined samavaya as the relation between the cause and the effect. Prasastapada defined it as the relationship existing between the substances that are inseparable, standing to one another in the relation of the container and the contained. The relation of samavaya is not perceivable but only inferable from the inseparable connection of the substances. The atomic theory According to the Vicesika school, the Trasaranu are the smallest mahat perceivable particles and defined as trianukas triads. These are made of three parts, each of which are defined as divyanuka dyad. The divyanukas are conceived as made of two parts, each of which are defined as paramanu atom. The paramanus atoms are indivisible and eternal, they can neither be created nor destroyed. Each paramanu atom possesses its own distinct vicesa individuality. The measure of the partless atoms is known as paramandala paramana. It is eternal and it cannot generate the measure of any other substance. Its measure is its own absolutely. Topic see also Darshanas Hindu philosophy Hinduism Naya philosophy Padartha Tarka Sangraha Vicesika Sutra Atomism Topic Notes Topic References Chattopadhyaya, D. 1986, Indian Philosophy, A Popular Introduction, People's Publishing House, New Delhi, ISBN 81-7007-023-6. Das Gupta, Surendranath A History of Indian Philosophy, Vol. I. Mudalal Banarsidas, Delhi, ISBN 978-81-208-0412-8, Radhakrishnan, S. 2006, Indian Philosophy, Vol. 2, Oxford University Press, New Delhi, ISBN 0-19-563820-4. Topic further reading Bimal Matilal 1977, A History of Indian Literature, Naya Vicesika, Otto Harisovitz Verlag, ISBN 978-344701807-4, OCLC 489575550 Gopi Kavaraj Gleanings from the History and Bibliography of the Naya Vicesika Literature, Indian Studies, Past and Present, Volume 2 No. 4, OCLC 24,469,380 Janine D. Fowler 2002. Perspectives of Reality, An Introduction to the Philosophy of Hinduism. Sussex Academic Press. ISBN 978-1-898723-93-6. H. Majano 2012. Physics and Philosophy, Selected Essays. Springer Science. ISBN 978-94-009-9845-2. Bimal Krishna Matilal 1977. Naya Vicesika. Otto Harisovitz Verlag. ISBN 978-3-447-01807-4. K.A.K., Subhash, Matter and Mind, The Vicesika Sutra of Kannada ISBN 978-1988207148 Reap, Dale Maurice Naturalistic Tradition in Indian Thought. Mudalal Banarsidas ISBN 978-81-208-1293-2. Bart Labashanya, Timo Slutweg 2012. 
Hegel's Philosophy of the Historical Religions. Brill Academic. ISBN 90-04-22618-4. Sharma, Chandradar A Critical Survey of Indian Philosophy. Mudalal Banarsidas. ISBN 978-81-208-0365-7. External links A summary of Vaisheshika physics Shastra Nethralaya, Vaisheshika Gretile text of the Vaisheshika Sutras <laughs>